Welcome back to the Fly Kingfisher winning post. Now it's time for us to get to know our racing pro. This one's, well, a young Turk. It's 2011 and the Gen Next is ready to step in and shoulder responsibility. One such young trainer for whom racing runs in the family turned pro a year back and has progressed gradually. Hi, I'm Adhiraj Singh Joda and this is my story. He is dead serious about his career and while most young men would seek to enjoy a sizzling social life, this rookie pro dreams about the championship. He does not mind turning in early to sweat it out before the sun comes up. I started uh, riding at a very early stage. When I was five years old, I was introduced to horses uh, by my father. And uh, I used to go to the track every day in the morning. And he used to put me on his own, on his own race horses. And that's how I developed this liking towards horses. And then, you know, it, I joined the amateur riders club and then it was no looking back. I just, uh, I, I took to riding a lot and I just uh, started, I started show jumping for, for the club, I started playing polo for the club, so it was all related to horses. And then during my school, uh, late school days, early college days, I started, um, you know, assisting my father, got into racing a lot and I really started enjoying the sport. So I thought this is what I want to do as, as a career. Who does he draw inspiration from? Well, definitely my father. I would look to my father for for advice, for inspiration, for for everything. Because um, I mean, I think I think he's a fabulous trainer. He's he's won a lot of races. We've we've had we've had a lot of success with mediocre horses. So it's it's been a good good experience and learning from him. He's been around for very long. And uh, of course, my grandfather. He was a jockey. He was a good leading jockey at in his time. He was a trainer, so he knows, so I'm gaining experience from both of them. I mean, I wouldn't have to look further because it's all in the family. Being a successful trainer, Magan Singh Joda's firstborn, it sure must have been smooth sailing, getting into the groove under his father. Well, no, not really, because my father has really come down hard on me. And uh, obviously, it, it's understandable, he can't treat me as a son when it comes to work, you know. So it was as another assistant and everything was you know, do this, do that, do this, do that. It was not like, okay, you are my son, so you know, you are going to, I'll give you this easy or you can get this day off, nothing. If there was one day that I would miss, he would fire me. Like, he would fire me much more than he would fire his other assistants. And, well, I understand that. And that has really helped me because today, if I miss, if I ever miss one day of work, it makes me really uneasy. Because I just keep thinking about my horses and what they're going through. And, uh, like, it, the famous saying goes, a horse never knows it's a Sunday, so it can never it can never be possible that you get a holiday in horse racing. So was he off to a flying start? Well, I started I started with uh, 15 horses, and uh, slowly built it up. Now I've got uh, 20 23 horses under my string. My first runner was a winner, a filly called Fiona, and uh, she was really temperamental filly, and she was trained by my father that time. But I was assisting, so you know I was really keen to have her because somehow I just liked her a lot and I'd given I'd given a lot of attention to her. So my dad was like, you know, okay, fine. So when I took my license, she was one of the first horses I got, and uh, you know, luckily for me, she was my first saddled horse and she was a winner. So it started off really well, and I've got a few good horses. I've got Rajasthan Royals who's done really well for me. He's won in Class One. He started with me in class four, and he's climbed up the ladder. So, and it was a brilliant training experience. He's a very simple horse to train, and a pleasure to train. And he's he's given me a lot of winners. How has it been so far, and what does the near future look like? It's been a good experience. I have a good bunch of two-year-olds now, six of them, and I've got a few got abroads in that. So I hope the two-year-old season kicks off for me. How tough does he find his profession? Well, the biggest challenge obviously would be to keep the keep winning races and keeping the horses uh, racing sound, which is sometimes if you have a correct horse, it, it makes it very simple. But otherwise, it's not that every horse is uh, you know completely fit or completely uh, you know uh, trouble-free in training. 
and and also a lot of challenges in the sense that uh, you need to train a lot of horses in a particular way all horses are not trained the same way and there are some you get some difficult horses like i've got one 2 year old now you need to really get into the head of a horse to understand what he wants and what he wants to do and have him trained that way so that he enjoys his work and once the horse enjoys his work then everything else is quite simple you know because as long as the horse is happy work just keeps going so it's all about training each horse according to the way he should be trained does he take active interest in pedigree as well particularly when the jay gobind stud farm belongs to the family the stud farm is run by my uncle dig vijay singh shekhawat and it was started by my maternal grandfather colonel govind singh it was just a holiday destination for me every year i used to go to the stud farm in jaipur and it was just all about fun and games but like as i started getting into the training bit a very important part of training is the pedigree of a horse i got involved in the foaling part of, of the horses at the farm about the stallions about the mares the pedigrees of the of the mares of the stallion what should nick well with what stallion you know it's a lot of detail goes into it into making a good horse you know and i studied a lot did a lot of research on it read a lot of books on it and i have also experienced first hand the foalings the coverings that the everyday uh, happenings on a farm it was quite exciting but uh, it's it's really hard it's really it's very hard work so but not not my cup of tea it's it, for me it's all about training what is his racing mantra i plan my races according to the the health of my horse how good my horse is feeling and uh, i target a few uh, a race maybe a couple of weeks later i i chalk out what program the horse could go through so i i map out a race and then i sit down and chart what work the horse should be doing that's how i do it and that that's with the horses that are already running with the babies with with the 2 year olds or with the late maturing horses i let them come into hand let them get ready tell, let them tell me when they are ready and then i pick out a race for them how have the elders in the family reacted to his newer modern methods well there's there's a hell of a lot technology wise because now when my grandfather walks into the equine hospital and <laughs> he's like my god what is all this is like you know and same thing with my father is is a little like obviously it, uh, with you know the times changing evolving new techniques coming in you know so there are a lot of times when my father is like you know why do you even need to do this why i mean you know we used to just do it the old fashion way my grandfather especially is like bas baraf seko aur sab theek ho jayega i said no it doesn't it doesn't work like that anymore there are a lot of things that go into it there are x rays there are sonographies there are i mean there's so much there's nerve blocks this that and all which of course it i find it a little hard explaining to my grandfather but anyway that's how it is and it technology has evolved quite a bit now what advice does he feel has helped him immensely well my father taught me one thing he said see you cannot have a champion every horse cannot be a champion and every horse cannot keep winning there are a lot of times when you feel that the horse may not win this race but he comes out and wins well that's a pleasant surprise and for me a winner is is everything i mean that's that's what i train for and that is what i want but there are a lot of times when you know i fancy according to me well the horse couldn't shouldn't get beat and it could be anything um it could be the jockey's riding it could be that the horse in like the track it could be that the horse got uh, bunched up and didn't find so well it is a little disappointing but then i mean you can't you have to let that you know be be the past just get get it past you and uh, just go on to the next day and start training again and looking for another race for that horse does he have any bigger aspirations well definitely to become champion trainer in western india which is a dream it's a really difficult thing you need to have a lot of horses you need to have horses well placed in the handicap scale and uh, well definitely either bombay or pune but uh, most definitely bombay because that's the biggest stage it's about becoming champion trainer and of course winning the big races well and we do wish ali raj all the success in his career now as promised at the start of the show we are in singapore and we were here to catch the return of rocket man